Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Today we'll read from a book titled Theatre, Garden, Bestiary, A Materialist History of Exhibitions, edited by Tristan Garcia and Vincent Northman and published by Ecal in collaboration with Sternberg Press. Filipa Ramos wrote, Dolls make animals visible by exhibiting, editing, framing and fixating the living beings they detain, zoological gardens activate specific modes of looking and being looked upon, which transform the status and nature of the displayed animals and condition the ways in which they are dealt with and thought about. As anthrozoologist Elizabeth Atwood Lawrence observes, Whenever a human being confronts a living creature, whether in actuality or by reflections, the real-life animal is accompanied by an inseparable image of that animal's essence that is made up of or influenced by pre-existing individual, cultural or societal conditioning. Zeus edit, frame, select what to present like in a film, in which the animal is not simply an object but also an event. Indeed, both cinema and the zoo are spaces of desire, projection and identification associated to the observation of moving bodies. Taking in consideration the confluence between the two, I propose to consider another moment of animal observation that also takes place in a zoo, this time mediated through a video recording device, to discuss the possibility of film adding another degree of experience to what can be lived during a zoo visit. Chris Marker's short video Slon Tango was shot in Slovenia in 1993. It portrays a female Asian elephant, Ganga, born in the wild in 1975 and living on her own in Ljubljana since former president Tito offered the animal to the zoo in 1977. The long tango presents a single shot of the elephant pacing around her open-air enclosure, moving back and forward. The animal repeats a sort of choreography with her back and front legs, interlacing them on one another, ears and tail moving at the same time. There is a clear intentionality in this gesture, as she isn't playing an act but filling her time with a bodily activity, a frequent behavior in zoo animals who often develop compulsive neurotic patterns, known as stereotypic behaviors, that are indicative of their poor mental condition. But in this case, the animal's elegant and graceful movements does not appear to be a stereotypical behavior. Her sense of synchronicity, pace and rhythm suggests that she is engaging in an activity that resembles a form of dance. Chris Marker's pairing of the video footage with Igor Stravinsky's Tango 1940 accentuates the hypothesis of the animal's gesture being a form of dance while it associates her choreographic movement with a melody that bears an elephant sense, the cadence of the trombones resembling the sounds produced by the elephant trunk, and the movement of her pacing back and forward. Certain animal species have demonstrated a capacity to articulate untutored spontaneous bodily movements that can be considered dance. Among them there are birds, cetaceans, pinnipeds, some bats and elephants, all animals dotted with vocal learning. This discovery led a team of researchers to sustain that vocal learning is associated to the capacity to generate synchronized movement. It could be that Marker depicted a moment of elephant dance and intuitively associated the movement of the animal with a musical response, underlying such a connection by adding Stravinsky's soundtrack to the images. The video does not disclose the fact that Ganga has been taught to play tricks, which she regularly performs for visitors of the Ljubljana Zoo. 
But the distinction of whether she is performing while being ordered, performing as a form of rehearsal or performing to fill in her time becomes irrelevant when considering that this animal, who spent almost her entire life in an exhibition mode, being subjected to a continuous scrutiny which she cannot avoid, is an in-between creature, neither domesticated nor wild. There is no differentiation in the space and context in which she undertakes her activities, as all her gestures are, after all, public and visible. The transposition of her flesh and body to the screen further enhances her condition. Her entire figure fits perfectly the area of the screen, being both comfortable and stuck within it, while there seems to be no outside for her from the public world. Performing for the trainers, training, performing for the audience, live acting, performing for herself, rehearsal, or performing for the camera, deferred acting, all intrinsically define how Ganga performs as a mode of existence. Sabine Nessel sustains that zoo animals are not simply the animal, but always part of an order that organizes the presentation and viewing to the same degree. As it happens when animals are exhibited in the cinema, so the cage, the aquarium, the vivarium, the tank or other enclosures frame and insert animals within a system of capture and display in which the triangulation between exploitation, education, contextualization merges ethnographic, scientific and pornographic gazes within a leisure and pedagogical activity. It is not coincidence that the verb shooting stands for the double assertion of hunting and filming. As for the book at your local bookstore, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.